Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Welcome to another Super Dave review and today we are looking at Masters of the Universe Revelation Battle Cat. There he is looking stellar huge box. Let's take a look at how much this thing measures in. This box measures in at 16 inches. This is the largest Battle Cat that's ever been created by a manufacturer not counting you know customs or whatever and it's absolutely amazing we're going to be comparing it to the masters of the universe classics battle cat and the origins battle cat but let's take a look at this box it has the masters of the universe revelation logo on the front it says it's a deluxe articulated figure it has the netflix logo it has the hieroglyphic images around the masterverse logo in here that shows some neat things like the ram stone and the uh, Havoc staff symbols and just all kinds of neat little things hidden in there and it is just interesting the power sword all right it has on the side battle cat has on this side that ne neat little uh, bookend graphic art that looks really cool of battle cat but check out the back wow isn't that gorgeous look at the artwork there Oh man, that is so, so cool. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited about the Masters of the Universe Revelation series that's coming out July the 23rd. It's coming soon. Wow. So neat. And the other selling points here of Skelly God, He-Man, Mossman, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. These guys have not hit, other than Ske Skelly God, have not hit retail stores yet but i can't wait to get a hold of these and review them i've already got a review up of skelly god you can click that link there to check that out pause now if you want to read that battle cat bio but let's break open this awesome looking if you want the barcode there you go this awesome looking battle cat oh man i'm so excited about checking him out let's look at him and here at castle gray skull we are going to take a look along with some of the masters of the universe from Eternia figures at our mighty Battle Cat. Wow, what an awesome and magnificent looking specimen. Just take a look at him as he spins around here. He's massive. He's amazing looking. I know some have said they don't like necessarily the helmet or it's not their thing. I like the helmet. I love the classics helmet, the original based on the vintage helmet. I thought that design was before its time, but I think this armored, chiseled look of this new helmet is cool. I don't like the saddle, and we'll talk about why in just a few moments, but man, is this Battle Cat really awesome. He is neat. He is looking great, and we're going to definitely compare him with some other, you know, match him up with some of our Masters of the Universe classic figures because unfortunately we do not have He-Man from the Revelation series in hand yet, but I'm looking forward to getting him and when I do a review of that He-Man, we'll slap him on this Battle Cat and really get a good look at the real deal. But let's take a closer look at this Battle Cat and his armor. And I want to really compare the armor here so that you see what we're talking about. Of course, the color scheme of the Classics Battle Cat, even the stripes and the darker tones to the Classics Saddle. The saddle had much more texturing and shading and just overall realism in detail and also a very tight and thick, flexible quality plastic. So did the helmet here but in our new one it is a cheaper made plastic not as much shading or detail and especially this saddle is a very squishy uh, poor painted no texturing and that's the only qualm i really have with this figure 
Um, I love the shape of the helmet though. I think the helmet looks awesome. I do like the animated look to it, but of course I love, and I added a beard to mine, uh, I do love my classics, Battle Cat. Probably still my favorite as far as the realism and just the nostalgia of it compared to the original and all that he you know represents i mean he's just he's the top notch but as i heard one person say this one gives him a run for his money uh, i do like the color tone it is more of a lime green uh, compared to the brighter darker green on our battle Cla classics battle cat but i do like this uh tone and the look of this battle cat all the way around i just think it looks phenomenal and so there they are just side by side and you can see that the uh, revelations battle cat revelation battle cat is definitely larger and taller and bigger compared to your classics battle cat and that was unexpected that's just amazing he is really really cool now let's see how he measures up as far as articulation and he's able to look up about that much he's able to look down all the way that looks really good doesn't it excellent job there he's also able to turn his head from side to side He's able to also get different kind of angles if you go to the left and to the right, which is good. You can see that. Just a slight amount of left to right angle. He does have a poseable bottom jaw, which is really cool. And they painted the tongue and all the teeth white. That's, that's good detail. I'm glad they did that. Uh, they really didn't do <laughs> a very good job painting uh, the mouth on the uh, Origins Battle Cat, in my opinion. But this one has some great head articulation. I'm going to go ahead and remove this saddle so that we can really get a good picture of an image of his articulation here. And first of all, looking at the front of this Battle Cat, he gets a better stance as far as being able to spread out his front legs from the upper part of his shoulders that is really excellent detail of course he can go forward and back and there's some really good girth he's got some muscles too like he man <laughs> that's some really good quality there I love that about middle way of his leg of course he has a big joint right there and that's really good and that will also twist at that joint and then he's also got the ability to twist at the paw and a hinge there and check this out even rocker joints just excellent and check that out even has the detail of the pads painted on the bottom and I love the way those claws really extend and accentuate there that is a really good job I really like that moving on to the back of the legs he does have again the ability to spread out those legs a little bit more than I think you had with classics and about one third of the way down you have a hinge there and also rotates at the knee again about two-thirds down you have another uh, hinge right there and then at the paw another hinge and it'll turn and has rockers again and the painted pads excellent excellent job on the legs you're gonna have some dynamic ability to pose both in the back and front to be able to do a lot of things the tail is also articulated so it inches up and down swishes left to right and you can kind of turn it a little bit as you get into that diaphragm and talking about diaphragm two ball jointed diaphragms here this one will not only rotate but also twist along with this front one and and back one they'll twist so he's going to be able to get some turns going that way along with the head like he's kind of coming around that way and check this out even going to be able to arch his back a little bit up that way and then crunch forward a little bit that way so he'll be able to get some some sitting poses and that kinds of thing so that's really going to be awesome excellent articulation dynamic i would even say articulation to this battle cat and again with that head he's going to be able to get a good up and down range when you compile the two joints here together turning the head back and forth his mouth opens he can look down and up i mean just excellent overall uh, articulation for this battle cat and in this case without the armor cringer let's look at him with some other characters and here's our cringer 
next to Prince Adam and man at arms here you can kind of see how they match up I mean he is big I mean you can sit him down and kind of give him that look uh, and maybe this will match up with the uh, you know Revelation series I'm not sure I know in the original filmation Cringer grew uh, from one size to the big size but uh, we'll have to just wait and see how that appears in the new series but there he is next to Prince Adam just to give you an idea of how that looks there with Cringer mode talking about the difference you see how the Cringer look from classics and even the filmation type inspired Cringer compared to him when he transforms into the mighty, mighty battle cat I mean there's a huge difference there and uh, you can just tell it and they had the similar color scheme as well and so here just to say well pop off his armor and he's cringer there's just not that size difference like we're used to but to each their own we'll just kind of have to figure out how we can adjust that but look at that awesome seated seated pose that he is able to perform there our cringer now that I believe is new uh, as far as his ability to artic articulate to that level I th it's harder to get uh, this battle cat to even do that even if you wanted to and then of course the cringer we got with classics had no articulation except for just a swivel at the neck and so huge improvement if you want to make this your cringer one of the things I want to show you before we try on some he-mans on this battle cat is that in this helmet there's some notches that fit with his ears and so it pops onto his ears very snugly so it doesn't fall off or it's not real loose like it is on the classics one so that's one thing to note with this new battle cat now there he is got him in pretty much a standard position here and you see the saddle the way it, it uh, wraps around with the two straps two straps instead of one strap which actually comes in handy to kind of keep this thing on but one of the issues is uh, I've already mentioned that my really only pet peeve with this action figure which is absolutely excellent I really don't have many is this saddle it just looks cheap the way they just slap some brown on here no texturing it just doesn't look nowhere near as nice as classics now, I know classics is just in another league for collectors but this is coming pretty doggone close and is just an excellent action figure so when you begin to put on a he-man we don't have the revelation one which we will try that on him when we have him in hand but let's go ahead and look at him with this he-man uh, this is the standby uh, you know main he-man for me in my collection and has the vintage head and the classics body and so you can see that looks excellent he looks great he fits on there and you can get his leg you know uh, on there a little better than you know it's just it's one of those things kind of like even with the vintage if you get one leg right the other one goes off <laughs> but uh, I had him pretty good at the beginning we'll just leave him like that but that looks pretty good and uh, he's looking good there as far as riding the battle cat all right let's look at another one let's look at the Dolph Lundgren uh, uh, he-man on our battle cat and this looks really good this looks stellar in my opinion I think that uh, matches well and he actually sits on there pretty good so if you need a battle cat for your Dolph Lundgren he-man there you go he's looking excellent he's looking really good and he does fit even with the power sword in the back and his pistol in the holster and his dagger everything installed he can still sit on this new battle cat and looks pretty good I think and then you have your filmation he man and he was the hardest one for me to kind of fit on to make him look right but I think I got him right there it looks okay and uh, he looks good too uh, the filmation if you need a battle cat for your fil filmation he man there you have him he's gonna look stellar with uh, your new battle cat there you go look at him he's great and I've got one more with a custom head if you want to see him charging in the battle with his wind blown hair going there you have your classics he man with a custom head with the wind blown hair holding his sword ready to run into battle and he just looks great on this battle cat I just think he looks 
phenomenal. And here's you a final comparison with the classics and the He-Man uh, mounted on both of these figures. They're just looking great. I think they both look good. I think uh, you can pose these on your shelf or take photos of either one of these and be happy. And especially being that this one is no longer being made and is going to be at least two to three hundred dollars on the aftermarket. Go ahead and pick this one up for 40 bucks and have you an awesome battle cat. They're looking amazing. And since I'm sure most of you are collectors, go ahead and look at how this particular battle cat just overwhelms this Origins as far as looks, articulation, and function. This one looks more like a kid's toy, whereas this one, even though it may be a little bit less realistic than our classics, matching it up with our classics He-Man, you're seeing that this is certainly more of a serious collector's action figure battle cat, which you could definitely enjoy for years to come. And I think that the Origins is good for what it is. It is that nostalgia of the original vintage. But why not go ahead and get you a wonderful action figure that's going to look great with not only the new figures that are coming out, but have the articulation and the photo ability to really be a class act. This is an excellent battle cat. I love him. Look at him with his mouth roaring open here. <sighs> Looks great. And just look at this excellent pose you can get with the battle cat and He-Man doing that, that rearing up steed where he's coming up ready to attack and get somebody serious. I mean, you can do this using his tail and you can even probably do a better job at leaning him a little bit more forward. But that, I mean, just getting, being able to get that kind of pose is just dynamic, just excellent. Being able to get that, that paw to kind of turn in because of those awesome rocker joints there at the paws just looks stellar i just think this looks good and you're going to be able to do some great things with this battle cat check him out and for the comparison purposes look how he measures up against the classics panthor as they look like they're challenging each other two cats getting ready to go at it <laughs> get ready to go at it and they both look ferocious, both look good, and this even matches up pretty good together, especially when you've got the helmet on the uh, Revelation Battle Cat, because even though they don't match completely, you could sell it, especially when you include the new Skeletor and the new He-Man together. I wonder if we're going to get a Revelation Panthor. Oh man, that will be interesting to see. But there they are.